Uh, you know, not only uh, a USC contract, but obviously just a fantastic performance, the only finish of the night, you know, the real highlight of the night. So how are you feeling right now? Um, it's, it's surreal. Um, I feel like a, a big knot has just been taken out of my chest. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Nice. Uh, certainly you have a history of first round finishes, but that was an absolutely uh, insane start. Uh, I mean, was that the plan going in is to have a fight like that? I mean, I usually don't fight like that. I'm usually a lot more technical and, uh, you know, I like to display my skills, but I saw there were no finishes and I know the contender series, Dana was saying, he wants you to be exciting. Uh, Michael Bisping said, you got to go uh, video game style and try to go for the win. So I wanted to really, you know, throw caution to the win and uh, give an exciting fight. Next fight, I'll be a little bit more uh, technical, but I wanted to kind of just blow it out this first one. Yeah, you definitely did that. I'm curious. I mean, Man, you were scoring on him so often, and he was, he kept getting back, and he kept recovering. I mean, I know it's playing out really quickly, but at any point, is there kind of frustration? Like, what the heck do I got to do to make this guy stop? Not at all. I knew he was really tough. Um, I saw in one of his fights, he took two head kicks to the face and ended up winning that fight. So I knew he was going to be, you know, a little little bit Undertaker style. You know, he's going to get up, but I knew I, was, I had a lot more for him. So Very nice. And the choke you finished off with, it sounds like you said that's really kind of your preferred position. Like, it, I think we thought, well, oh, he's, he's never going to get that. But that's that's the way you like to finish it. Yeah, that's my choke. I've, I've actually uh, finished a fight like that before. Um, I am really strong. I have really good strength and conditioning. So if I get any kind of uh, opening, I know I can secure that, uh, that, that rear naked choke at any position. Awesome. I think we, as soon as the fight ended, we all thought, shoe in, that's done, he's got his contract. Did you feel that way, or did you still think, well, I, I don't know, maybe I still got to watch? I hope so. I mean, uh, I was kind of in a daze. He did rock me a little bit. He caught me with something, so I was a little in a, in a daze a little bit. Um, uh, but I knew I had the finish, and it was the only finish of the night. So I, I, I had a feeling I was going to get the contract. Uh, so I know this has all happened quickly, but have you had a chance to speak to the family yet? Or like, are, they, are they happy for you? Or they still maybe want you to chase a dream different than fighting <laughs> at some point? Not yet. I haven't talked to my family yet. Um, but it, it's too late now. I'm a signed UFC fighter, so it's <laughs> – we're, uh, we're going to go until the wheels fall off. That's awesome. I guess last thing for me then, uh, you know, like I said, this was amazing. So what's the ideal scenario for your for UFC debut? I mean, are you, are you hoping to book something quickly? Do you need to, some time to kind of prepare for it? Are there, are there names you want to face? What's, what's the ideal scenario? Um, well, any, uh, anything the UFC wants to do. Um, it would be amazing if I can get on the card of my mentor, uh, Matt Brown. That'd be a, like a full circle dream come true. It would be unbelievable. Um, I definitely want to fight Brian Battle. Um, we both, I was actually supposed to be on the Ultimate Fighter. I had the opportunity to be on the Ultimate Fighter and then I got um, uh, the opportunity to be on like the first week of Contender Series and then they pushed it back to this week. So if I was on the Ultimate Fighter, they'd have been a different champion. So, and we both fought for a similar promotion, a B2, and they got me ranked higher than him. So Brian Battle would be a great fight. Sorry about that. How you doing, AJ? Congratulations Good, doing? on that one. Thank you. Um, I gotta, you touched on a bit. I want to ask you about that moment. He first goes down, and you just bring down that hammer on him. Did you think that he was out? Because I honestly thought he got it right there. What was going on in that moment from your perspective? I knew he was tough, and I knew I had to cook him a little bit. So um, I didn't want to rush it too bad. I knew he was going to be resilient. Um, so no, I didn't, I didn't think he was finished when he dropped. I knew he was going to come back. I knew I had to keep and stay on him. I was actually planning for a TKO. I, I, don't, I didn't think I was be able to knock him out cold because he's so tough. Um, but I ended up getting the submission, so that's better. <laughs> Contender Series is all about, you know, the new upcoming talent. But you've got quite the corner man with you there in the Hall of Famer, Mark Coleman. Can you just talk about what kind of lessons he gives to you as you embarked on this, you know, Contender Series journey? He's the best motivator. He's always in the gym. He's always giving me uh, uh, tidbits and advice. Uh, between him and Matt Brown, I, I just I don't see anywhere I could lose. Does the hammer still get after it with you guys? You know, it's sparring. Does he still drill with everybody? Is he he more still on the drills, and he is still the hammer. He's still one of the strongest guys in the world. Um, I'm so blessed to have him in my life. Okay, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>